uh, my uh, video wasn't uh, working very well, so I got to read this thing over again. Okay, but since I've already read it, I should uh, do better uh, better reading of it this time. So I'll continue here. This story I'm about to read in this novel that I wrote is called The Night Journey. Or The Journey by Night. I might call it The Journey by Night, but I think I'll just call it The Night Journey here. Okay. Yeah. Okay, as Sally debated about coming outside into the cold and seeing what the night sky might look like so far away from city light, a light of a laptop computer was glowing. You know something? I better read back a further. I better, because I don't think what I... I think I'll read back for the okay. Back into um, uh, the flash drive. Okay, Daniel smiled and said, "His hair, of course." Although he never mentioned it on the internet, his computerized diary translated into Arabic told all. After the video, who after after the video he posted uh, he, that he put he'd post in his underwear that wasn't a tape of himself in a reflection. There would be a countdown to uh, making a video with the leaves turning color behind him and uh, himself rapidly becoming quote what God had programmed in his genes all along. Although it seems he never lived to post that video of himself in his underwear, not in reflection. Well, guess how many viewers ended up seeing the video called the Samson Option two, uh, Option 1? So they made a gulping sound and asked, how many? 1,053,000 and counting, Small Daniel. But why would people want to see that? Asked Sally with confusion in her eyes. People love a mystery, added Daniel. People looked at his videos and saw that he set something up beforehand that proved he could be trusted with his word. He said that after three years to the day that he posted a video of himself repeating a certain sentence over and over again in a foreign language, that he'd post a video of, uh, to reveal its answer. The video in the strange, strange language, Marathi, actually, uh, was what he called a sleeper cell wake-up sleeper cell wake-up call. Well, as I said, three years to the day of posting that sleeper cell wake-up call titled the, Mer the Mystery Call, he posted a video to tell you, uh, uh, to let you know what he was saying in Marathi, and let it know again what the repeated sentence was to possibly activate sleeper cells. He was a terrorist Muslim, asked Sally. No, said Daniel. Thank God he was full of questions. I shudder to think what world-shaking horror a guy like he could have easily brought onto the earth if he didn't first come upon those sayings and scriptures in the, in the Quran that sounded stupid and crazy to him. He could have become the monster of monsters. No, he found the stupid and evil scriptures in the Quran and Hadith first, stopping him from becoming the doomsday machine he would have absolutely become. The sleeper cells he secretly created were for something else, and I'm not quite sure what they were he created them for, but I'm betting they weren't for terrorist activity at all. In his video he posted to YouTube, he said that they would, um, that they should be harmless if they were to be activated. I believe him. What was it? asked Sally with a look of concern in her eyes. Again, it was a repeated message that if found out, he might act, he might activate those sleeper cells. But again, not Muslim ones, according to his journal. Not terrorists, but 
being that he was a Muslim, I'm betting it got the FBI and Homeland Security making a special file for him just in case. And the sentence was, asked Sally, looking a bit concerned, looking a bit scared. <sighs> Messages from the edge of Earth are coming. Messages from the air, the edge of Earth are coming, repeated over and over again, but in Marathi, which he says he started about 10 years ago, which means it was something he started even before he even became Muslim, which means that although the project was to expose Islam, that it was something more than that at its beginning. And if so, it means he has a lot more patience to carry out whatever project he was working on at the time he posted the videos of himself in his underwear. That messages from the edge of Earth repeat is a video of a video that shows him younger, and people can see that for themselves. It let people know that he might be complete and he might be a complete nutter wacko, but he was a serious and very complex wacko with incredibly deep, possibly cultic ideas that captured interest in him. And when people saw that video that exposed the meaning of what the video was in the rare in that rare East Indian Hindi language called Marathi, they started seeing his videos like he planned from like he planned three years earlier when he was still thought of as a true blue Muslim. And they even started accidentally crossing the bridge of cyber of cyber ether to his anti Islam videos. And if he lived to put on the video, that answered the question as to why he looked like hell in that student's video of him in my classroom. Man, well, I'm betting that the number one, I'm betting that the number of 1,053,000 and counting viewers currently would probably escalate exponentially along with exposure of those very damning videos on Islam. Especially if he then put the on videos especially if he then put on videos that bridged his more powerful excuse me yeah, that bridged his Samson option and science videos with his Islam videos in a far more powerful way, which he was planning. Which he was planning, according to that journal of his on the flash drive. So I looked up and noticed uh, it, was, it wasn't snowing anymore, but the word, the only words she uttered were the Samson option. Daniel looked at Sally and said, Right, the Samson option. He was going to let nature finally take its course in front of the world and destroy the one thing he was most vain about. His hair. It was a lack of hair from Samson's head that helped Samson bring down the Temple of Dagon. Before Samson could bring it down, he had to be shorn of hair and humiliated. This guy, this Niles Neville, literally did do a sacrifice as he said he would. He did that which he used to dread he he did that which he used to dread most. Go bald. He sacrificed his youth and hair. All he needed to do was start putting the videos of his rapid aging on the net, and it would freak so many people out. All his videos from Christian Prince and himself that exposed Islam would go viral. Well, he lost his hair, and that student video of him in my classroom proved it. He did complete his Samson option. He went bald before the last leaf of the tree of a tree fell, not to bring down the Temple of Dagon this time, but to bring down the House of Allah, Islam. He literally went bald rapidly to help free the world from Islamic terror. So he thought for a while and said, when did he post that video called the Samson Option 1? Daniel looked up, thought, and said, There is no date, but when I came upon it and did the math, I noticed that he posted it on the day he confronted his Muslim stalkers on the phone in my classroom. Apparently, 
Ah, apparently. Only the threat of death would get him to unleash the first video. Holding out three years later to release the last of those special videos in chronological order. Which will now never come. And it was that day, the day he became like a caged panther, that he put on that first video. And to this day, it's getting a huge amount of attention with just that crazy video of him in his underwear. Daniel noticed that the snow had stopped and said with excitement, Oh, thank God, maybe I can get this thing to Vegas after all. You're going to Las Vegas, asked Sally? That's where I'm taking the potatoes, said Daniel. He then put his hand over the dial for the lights and said, You know, uh... I bet we are so far away from an artificial light source that the stars, the stars will be killer to look at. Killer? asked Sally with a weird look in her eyes. With a, look, with a, leery, with, with a little worry in her voice. Killer like cool? asked Daniel. But it is still cloudy. But, but, but is it still cloudy? <sighs> Daniel climbed out of the truck and looked up. There was a big patch of starry sky. You know, there's uh, a couple more minutes to go. And this next story I'm about to read is, read is called The Night Journey. Or, as I would call it, uh, I should call it The Journey by Night. But I'll call it The Night Journey. As all you do, I debated about coming outside into the cold and seeing what the night sky might look like. So far away from city light, a light of a laptop computer was glowing in the back of the van. You was glowing in the back of the van used hours earlier as a weapon. As it headed north, while a recording of Quran 9 was being recited in Arabic over a speaker. The recitation wasn't coming from the laptop, but from the speakers in a van that was pretty damaged and beat up. Wind was whistling through a window that was broken out, for the van was one of three other vehicles used as a weapon against Daniel Tashiro.